Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 64 match between Will King and his Norse, I think, versus Velahopia and his High Elves. No, it's not Norse, it's Amazons. There you go, I instantly forgot. At least I got Armour 7 right. Um, <laughs> so, ah yes, I'll have some Blodge. There you go, he's got some Blodge. He's got some Guard, some Palm, um, an Adjup. Well, he's just got a rookie here back for the ball. No, it's... Oh, God, you can't... can't see the skills right. So he's got a guard, sure hands. Blitz at the carry. Oh, he just made an instant cast. There's no wizard for the elves. There's a bribe for the Zons. You would have thought you'd have picked up an edge four, wouldn't you? I get, maybe he's sure hands. Is there a stripper? Let's see if there's a stripper. There's no time to pause, we're on bloody... We're doing it live, Muppet. We can't bloody pause. We can't pause when it's live. It's already... We'll, we'll already have three minutes in a minute. <laughs> we'll have, like... We'll have, you know, two whole minutes to look at things now. There's no strip, is there? So maybe he should have just gone for the uh, Arch 4. I mean, this guy's alright, isn't he? I think he probably should have kept that Arch 4 back with the carrier, right? In kit for... Uh, for what's it called like uh, redundancy in case one gets hit by a rock or pitch invasion and uh, so I would have had I would have had the edge fall back with the kickoff returner because th this is and uh, you know die always goes about the stabilization phase and it is a pretty good it's a pretty good thing I think you should just have both back. There's like there's no excuse. This is the worst thing you can do, right? This is the stabilization phase. You've got a slow team. You've completely split your team in half. You know, like it, it because it's a deep kick, right? He's got a kick. He's always going to kick it deep. So now he's got one, two, three, four, five, six. The best case scenario, he's got this guy all the way back here. And there's oh my god, that's that's. I thought that was terrible, but it's not. <clears throat> now it's terrible because now there's a gaping hole. That was bummed. It was okay as long as that guy stayed there, but now he's just got to power him and or even push him, and everyone comes through in a two plus. So also you'd hit this guy and get a few people through, but now he's now this. I guess he hasn't got any guard, right? There's no guard. There's no guard at all on the elves, but um. Maybe just one DM with this Rackler and then just get everybody through on twos. Which is gonna be pretty bad for the like this is absolute this is Artemis versus J5. <laughs> Hello Frosty. Yeah, it's pretty it's a pretty ropey team for Veli, isn't it? You know, not yeah, no stats and doubles is is it's a very pedestrian High elf team. Oh, he's just trying to nail this sidestepper. Risky. And he gets the wrestle down. And he doesn't even. And he's not even got many people left to come through now either. So not really very exciting after all that. I feel like he should have maybe been braver to get more people through, especially as his team is shit. <laughs> especially as his team is shit. If he just one deed this guy. And then, like you know, from here and wrestled him, then uh, then he would have got these two through and these two right, and then it's a big difference having six people through than having uh, none. <laughs> like now, he's going to stabilise, isn't he? He's going to move up, reconnect, and it's going to be a very hard drive with no 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 like magical tools for the uh, for the high elves. Hello, Steve. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Magical tools. I didn't mean no, not always. Just like whiz, guard, you know, strength four, leap. Like he's just got nothing, has he? He's got he's got nothing. He hasn't even got like strip. No, I mean he's got he's got bloody he's got sure hands anyway. But do you know what I mean? Like he hasn't got anything. He's got no. Nothing exciting. He's got a rackler. It's already down. Yeah, it's like it's it's a real rough match for Veli here, and I think that was his big chance 
Um, and I think he had to do a 1D there. We could have used a reroll to be fair, like he rolled the skull boat down, didn't he, on the blitz? But uh, I think he just, I think he had to 1D this guy to try and get many people through. Because I do like the magical terminology of uh, magical, magic the gathering terminology of uh, some like you know one one side has got inevitability, and in this in this game it's definitely the Zons, isn't it? They've uh, they've got this tackle pommer. And they've got just got a better team over, overall, despite being having the lesser TV. They've got the better team overall, I think. And the high elves have got to do something to to win the game. Among Us. There will be Among Us after this game up at yeah, because the next game after this is at half seven. So there will be. We'll do this game live, and then I mean it depends. Veli is Veli, yeah, but I'm, but you know. Regardless of coaching, right? You know, you can't factor in coaching, can you? Spence style, hello. Like, you can't factor that in. On, you can't just think, I'm going to play better than my opponent. Like, he's got to he's got to make that happen, right? The fact that he's better means that he's more likely to make that happen. But he's still got to make something happen, hasn't he? That's the thing. He's got to use the fact that he's very... To, uh, to create something. Uh, dice don't exist, but don't say that when Dio's around. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, that, that's the main thing, right? The, the, you've got to look at the teams and then realistically think he's got, to, he's, got to, he's got to pull something out here to win. He just has to. And the fact that he's Veli's a better coach than most people means that he's more likely to be able to do that. Um, but I think, he missed a, I think he missed the opportunity last turn, I think. I think that was the opportunity last turn was to was to one day. I could be wrong, of course, but I sure liked it. <laughs> yeah, the lack of red skills. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, something you can't do in in Blood Bowl three, of course, due to their completely insane, nonsensical color scheming. Um, there's absolutely no way to do something like that. Whereas here, of course, you could just look for the red skills on there and you can go, oh, look, there's a mighty blow, there's a pommer, there's two guards. Instantly, you just instantly see, oh, there's three guards. You instantly see where the where the guards, okay, there's four guards. Where the guards, where the strengths are, there's five guards. I mean, I didn't, I didn't that was not the best advert ever, but I mean, this is just me being an idiot. <laughs> You can see the stand firm, which isn't as exciting as a red skill, but you can see the pom and the mighty blow, and you can see, uh, yeah, I'll get there eventually. And you can look at the elves and say, oh, there's no, there's no mighty blow, there's no guard, oh, in, just instantly. Whereas in Blood Bowl three, you'll just see a mess of orange and blue, and it's just going to be a nightmare to like know when people have picked doubles or well secondaries. It's like it's fucking, ins it's so fucked. Yes, but it's a different shade of red, isn't it? And it's also this is how like all of the all of the icons look in Blood Bowl Three, right? They're all just like plain, plain white on a background, rather than actually illustrated things. So like the fact that that's different enough, right? Isn't it? Like it's a it's a it's a more purpley red than these. These are more like orangey red, aren't they? And this is more purpley red. But like the fact it's got its own style, it's much more easy to distinguish stats. It's just. It's just pathetic how bad Blood Bowl 3 is in that regard. Absolutely fucking pathetic. Just quietly. Uh, I, don't, I don't know that I saw them either, Muppet. I probably can't can't answer that. I didn't play many games to uh, to save up for a stack. I just took randoms because it's fun, isn't it? To take randoms, see what happens. Feli's done a good job of only letting the pommer hit shitheads. Um, and to be fair, it has Kaz too, hasn't it? So, but now he's out of rerolls, and eventually it's going to be able to hit good players. Oh, 
this is a nice nice hit isn't it getting the extra hits yeah that's the thing he exposed the right players but unfortunately for him it made two cars so it hasn't done him that good that much good dictating who we can hit that push direction looks like I might be fouling him which you know I can see the point of uh, looking to looking to kind of high roll and uh, and what's the word like snowball but I'd rather foul a good player I'd still rather foul a good player personally Is he going to foul from the back, maybe? Because there's already like a screen there, isn't there? So if you... They are, yes, they are. It's interesting. Like, I remember, I remember Ducky, Ducky had birds versus rats and he, he went for the foul everybody and uh, eventually removed so many people that he was able to kill the gutters quite easily whereas I would have preferred to have saved the bribes for the gutters but yeah exactly it's just like it's not that one's right or wrong is it it's just uh, interesting well hey finally gets to him <laughs> keeps keeps the pommer not control but but you know keeps his blitzers limited gets to hit him with tackle instant double skulls <laughs> three out of four skulls <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's a pretty unlucky pen, though. <laughs> that that is a that is a true gym foul, isn't it? Well done. Yes, 150 is always a whiz, isn't it? Pretty much. It's also interesting when you get like 250 for some teams because you get the options of things, you know, like a wizard and stuff or a big star. But like obviously some some teams just don't have anything in that slot. But like Necro, for example. It's always a big choice, isn't it, whether to take Cheney, Lizards whether to take uh, whatever he's called. <laughs> Silly Billy. Yeah, found out of sequence, yeah, that's that's good. There's all sorts of things, isn't there? There's there's fouling indiscriminately, there's fouling out of sequence, and there's just saving it so that when you get the good players, you don't get sent off. <laughs> yep. Yes, I mean obviously what team, what race you are as well. I mean, there's lots of goals in there, isn't there? <laughs> Hello, dwarving. Yeah, that was hilarious, Ada. That was hilarious. You should have known better than try to impress Ada Dev. To be fair, that's basically impossible. Nope, oh, killed him. Didn't even roll a double. I mean, there's there's a big case for fouling now, right? Because, to be fair, <coughs> he was only 11 men. He's already used his apple on turn two. So, he's only got uh, eight players left on the pitch. He's capped at nine. So, yeah, I think the whole fouling indiscriminately with a bribe has got a lot more weight to it right now, but I, I still think I wouldn't have personally, I would have still waited for a better player. But you know, I may have been wrong. 
Nobody said I was always right, apart from all of those times when I said I was always right. <laughs> but I never meant it. It's the tackle down. Wow, what spindly arms, elves? Jesus. They're just skin and bone. Skin and bone! Yeah, basing the, basing the, D, basing the uh, DP with sidestep's not terrible, is it? But it, it does open. And, like, you know, he doesn't want to blitz him back, does he? But I mean, just, he can just 8 out of 9 times dodge away anyway, so it's. Shouldn't really be an issue. Oh god, there's a gaping hole, you can't stand there. <laughs> Probably need the catcher back as well. To tighten it up. You can go through here, can't you, if he wants? Might be a bit too far though, unless it's a pearl. Yeah, true. It's, oh, he's got that way as well. I didn't even see that. Wow, I'm stupid. This is still, though, pretty much just too far, right? You'd have to be here to cage up safely, so it's just probably too far as well. Yeah, just too far. So. Um, that's it. That's it, Dio. If if Veli gets knocked out, then um, then that's it for high elves. Yep, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> you asshole, Muppet. <laughs> you don't need a root for Kislev. You don't need a root for Kislev. They've got Rick dice. Pretty decent, isn't it? This the three guys up there trying to push forward a bit, going for another one assist foul. Why not? No, no Muppet. Kislev, Wizard, and Rick dice. That that is the that is the one. There's ways to play around Kislev. And there's ways to play around teams with wizards. But when you have Kislev with wizards, it's just fucked, isn't it? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Basically just fucked. Well, he's getting in the way a bit here. There's only three turns, and and Zons are slow. <laughs> yeah, in the bomber time for dub skulls. Pedro. It's been a pretty good turn for uh, Valley, hasn't he? Made pals in every hit, which is what he needed to like arrest, arrest the development of this drive. And there's another pile, another pile, another pile. <coughs> oh, dead, <laughs> dead! <laughs> Unbelievable! It's got to up all that. Oh god, I'm dying here. Right, sorry. 
Wow. Yeah, it's all of a sudden, all of a sudden, um, and you're thinking maybe his Will King should have gone through that that little gap there last turn, because instead he got his Palmer hit by tackle and got cast. These guys, everyone got knocked down, so it's not easy to uh, get up. He's got a blood step, blood step there. It's looking pretty, pretty dicey, very dicey, in fact. <laughs> yes, Pedro. Yeah, it's still, still COVID. The remains of COVID for sure. Like I've been coughing like a motherfucker, uh, even though, you know, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, Infectious anymore. <laughs> Hello, Adra. Uh, is there has there been some is there been some eye racing on today? Pendo was here before as well. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's team how fast for you, the camaraderie. Love to see it. God, right, what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Double GFI is he going for? Oh, sideline cage, he's got Stan Fern though, so it's not It's not as terrible as it looks, but I mean there's also potential to get a lot of pressure on. But he could feasibly have three three guys to screen in front. Definitely gonna have one. Makes the cheeky dodge. Oh, he, he chooses to commit the sidestepper. Interesting. Interesting. I think I'd be more inclined to have like put this guy here. And this guy there, and like try to screen off the the sideline cage, but he's gone aggressive with the guards. That's true, here, Dev. Yes, yes. So that that that's the thing, isn't it? Um, Belly will be trying desperately to get in the way here and try and force the score. Yes. I don't know that there's a thrower on the uh, on the elves. Maybe not a thrower, and no sure hands either. So I'm like not a super reliable one turns, but uh, sorry two turns, but certainly elves are fast, aren't they? So they, can, they can do it. I know Ada, but so, some are more consistent than others, aren't they? Like you know, if if they've actually got a safe throw thrower, then uh, it does make the two turn kind of much more reliable, right, in case there's a deep kick. Not reliable. More reliably get a chance at it, should I say. Not necessarily reliable to throw passes, is it? But still. Here we go. Things are happening. Thinking the zone was an elf. <laughs> Never mind. Just as a one day in rolls of power. Disgusting. Did he think that was two D? Probably. 
I really don't know, Pedro. I really don't know. Like, I guess, doubling up. Um, you know, doubled up screen and staying somewhere. Obviously, if you DACA when you're when you're ahead, then uh, they've got to come forward and like coming forward, just pressuring is fine. But you can, it's difficult, isn't it? It's tricky. Well, there you go. He gets the power. Choose to not sidestep. Not sidestep. Not stand firm. Rather. I don't know if that's the best defense, though. I'm up at yeah, nice cage. Just. Four plus in. That's why I would have liked the extra layer of, uh, like these three. I would have liked to have used them as an extra layer of defense rather than engage them. But it, it, you know, it, it could have worked. He's got the ball. Oh boy, howdy, he's going for the pass. Way. Was the pass the play? That's the question. He has got the edge four ready to respond. And he can surf this guy. Which he's got to do. <laughs> Hasn't he? Like he's just literally got to. Yeah, you know, if things fail, they were bad. That's how you know. That's absolutely how the game works. Um, judge things by the outcomes. <laughs> <laughs> Not the odds or anything. Yes, I mean, well, it wasn't. It wasn't a fumble, was it? A fumble would have been worse. I mean, the pass failed. It didn't. He didn't catch it, did he? But it wasn't intercepted, so I guess it wasn't intercepted or a fumble. So it could have gone worse. Surf that guy first. Worse. <laughs> I mean, it was technically a fail. It was inaccurate. Ed. Come on. There's another. There's another cast. Hello, store baby. Like he was quite good here. I guess he had three pluses out there and three pluses here to hit him, and then he two, three, two pluses out. So I guess it was pretty tricky holding it. Surf this guy. Hello. Hello? Why hasn't he been surfed yet? Like you have to, because it frees up this guy anyway, right? Oh, dude, how can you one in nine when you've got a fucking... When you've got this surf? That's insane. That is genuinely insane. It's his only tackler. He's, you've cast four people already. Just surf him and then get this guy up as well. Yikes. I think that was definitely a mistake not making that ball. No, I mean, you, but like, you, you know, <laughs> I know he failed the 1 in 9, but you've just, that's why you've got to make the block first, right? Because it's 1 in 81. Like, you've just got to do that. And then it lets you move this guy for free, doesn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You know, it goes there or some something here or here. Like, you've just literally got to do that surf first. You've got to. I refuse to believe that doing that before... The dodges. <laughs> yes, Pedro. And obviously, he thinks it was the right. Veli thinks it was the right play because he's instantly blitzing to get him off the sideline. And away. 
Is he going to dodge? Maybe not. He might win in 36. But I think he probably should. But this is very, very dangerous now, isn't it? With, uh, with the ball on the floor not even tagged. It's annoying because he's got the uh, he's got the sure hands, but then he's also the one best to move up, isn't he? And get past two, or just hand it off to. Yeah, he could, he could, he could, uh, he could just put it, couldn't he? If only he had Hail Mary pass right now. <laughs> if only he had Hail Mary pass, he could throw it in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Dio was right all along. Yeah, just like throw it here or something. I mean, you might as well pass it to this guy, right? Because he's he's only the only scoring threat anyway. So I guess it is better to just pass it to him. Yeah, it actually is better just to pass it to him, isn't it? Of course it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, Dio, Dio takes it, Pedro, and he insists it's good. Um, which is bizarre because he knows how to play Blood Bowl, so I don't know how to. I don't know how to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how to square off those two things really it's <laughs> it's difficult isn't it no oh, it's more it's more dackering is it wow die all the cult the cult of dacker we all thought Dio was a visionary it turns out he just copied an absolute idiot that's the one, yes, but that's what I was trying to say, Pedro. That's literally what I was trying to say, thank you. I just didn't I couldn't remember the words. <laughs> Can he uh oh god, he's he's he needs a cheer fire, so this is perfect. He gets to hit him and chain him on further. Glorious. Doesn't even need to cheer fire. Yeah, that's pretty great. That's pretty great, eh, Dad? Yeah. He can turn a dacker into a turtle. Has he got enough movement to run around? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. I can just hit the head. God, I'm an idiot. I just hit the head. I was thinking I don't like this because it's, it's blocking <laughs> next to him. <laughs> but it just wasn't. Oh, there you go. And I, I wonder that turn where he moved in those guards to, like, you know, tag people. I wonder if it was better to just double screen the cage. I think it obviously was, seeing as he, uh, he got sacked and lost. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there were certainly pros to doing that, wasn't there? There were certainly pros to doing his way, but I think it was definitely the play was to double screen it. Or maybe not even, not even, uh... Maybe not even uh Fuck off language. baby. Zones will never win chalice, no they won't, yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point here, Dev. He 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 ended up having to make that push, didn't he? Um he should have been trying to trying to get more forward yeah like he was up a number of players wasn't he? he should have been getting himself in a better spot earlier in the drive so he ended up when he felt he had to make that push but i still think maybe he could have done the push better or safer whatever you want to say so will we see a dacker that's the question you've got eight elves versus ten Zond. Yeah, the push were, Yeah, I think the push could have been done better, but also the 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 bigger problem is getting into the situation before the push. Yeah. 
He is dead now, yes, Muffet. But unfortunately, you, you win by scoring touchdowns and not getting scored on. And he's 1-0 down instead of 1-0 up, so... <laughs> Arguable value in the death. There was a certain amount of dice as well, wasn't there, Oh, There was the 4-plus dodging and the 1-D. Maybe, maybe file this also into dice mattering. A lot. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> and then there was the uh, the one in three to fumble on the pass. Yeah, I think Pedro's a bit right, probably. Yeah, good analysis from Pedro. In an individual match, dice is is very high up on the on the on the list. <laughs> There's also skills in coach skills in two halves, right? There's like skill and play. Because while Dio is a high level coach, he can play like absolute shit on any given game, can't he? Um, you know, like when he tried to dacker her today. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and like, Coach A may have a higher ceiling than Coach B, but Coach B may hit their ceiling more consistently than Coach A does. There's things like that, isn't there? So, you know, it's... Uh, And like obviously it depends, you know, when when you say coach skill, when you put coach skill on that scale, right? The coaching difference between myself and Dio is probably gonna mean less than the dice and the teams, right? Whereas the coaching skill between maybe Dio and a cat will be the most important thing. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I think he must have done here, though. Interesting. I wonder if this was this weak weakness was on purpose by Valley to tempt to tempt the uh, zones into a into an overcommit. <laughs> that's that's fair. That's fair, backyard daughter. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> But he's not going for the weak link. Oh, yeah, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Like, also, he's only got eight players as well, so maybe this he felt this was unavoidable, this weakness. But interesting that it was there, isn't it? Because it's pretty, it's pretty glaring weakness. In the, uh... But obviously, if he goes in, he can just r scoot past him and hand it off, and he's away, so... Maybe that was, like, trap space, as Dio loves to say. Maybe this was a trap, uh, a trap weakness, or maybe... He's only got eight players, so that's all he can do. <laughs> yeah, Moridam, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
<laughs> Trap on opportunity, yeah, exactly. Ha. Way. More Dublay skulls from the wrestler. Rackler. Not great, is it? But also no heat still, so you can just run away with the ball. Run it here. Maybe here. You could run there and be untaggable. <laughs> yeah, no, you have to give him this guy a tackle. I wouldn't do it with anyone else. Jeebus. Dio, of course, famously doesn't need tackle. He just puts his players in the right squares. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you, the thing is, you, you're still faster than the than the Zons, though, right? So you can you can probably outmaneuver them when you get a chance. If he catches. So he's allowing himself to get tagged by this guy, yep. Would need to be one more to be safe from that. I guess he's going to try and dodge somebody out to cover this. I think maybe, he's, maybe this guy should have been here, right? Because he's not actually making it, like he's still just a three plus. Whereas if he'd, uh, it's a bit like a gate, isn't it? Whereas if he'd gone, if he'd gone there, it's, or here, it's a lot harder to break through. We need a better word than the gate dodge, by the way, because it's fucking stupid. Yeah, I, yeah, I much preferred having him like here or here or even here somewhere. somewhere. When you have, so, you know, like uh, when you've got a player here and a player here, so they overlap, and you just like three plus or two plus three. People call that a gate dodge. So it'd be nice to have, like I've seen lots of people call it that. I don't know who who popularised it, but I've seen a lot of people streaming calling it that. People, I mean, maybe he's, maybe his people is uh, is being a bit too kind. <laughs> Does Artemis say it? Oh, the weak diagonal. All right, then. They, yeah, weak diagonal is a good name for it. We'll call it a weak diagonal. <laughs> Hello, red hair. No, I've I've seen multiple people saying saying it. Multiple people saying it. Yeah, you Maybe you don't watch enough blood bowl streams, but I've seen lots of people saying. It. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe Art was the person who popularised it then. But I, honestly, I've seen a lot of people saying it. Makes sense. Somebody had to be. Except gates shut things. Academical. <laughs> You've got a gate there. You don't get through unless it's a shitty gate. <laughs> nice getting the tackle hit on the pommer. It's funny, isn't it, that uh, Veli managed to manage to control the tackle pommer the whole half, first half. Maybe the guy with the guards should have been. Should have been the one on top of that exchange. Who knows? 
<laughs> shit gate. Yeah, we could call it shit gate. <laughs> Water gate. There you go. I don't know. <laughs> Pit. <laughs> Gareth Gates. Oh man. <laughs> there's a there's a blast from the past. <laughs> yeah, that's a shit gate. Yeah. <laughs> Always gonna wrestle there, isn't he? He's gonna wrestle. Surely, surely you're gonna wrestle there. Just to this move. Gotta bring this guy back instantly, right? He's gotta get back there, so you've got something back straight away. <laughs> Gareth Gates! Oh man! <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I like getting him back as well. Just get a couple of guys back straight away because you move six shitheads. <laughs> He's taking his time to punish. Nah, it's it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's fair enough, isn't it? It's fair enough. They they want to take their time to uh, to make the right decisions. Chalice nerves. Maybe they maybe run out of time. <laughs> that was one of the funnier things that I said on Out of Mrs. Channel, where well, like, he just kept saying. <laughs> just kept saying, I kept saying about all the shit moves, maybe he ran out of time. <laughs> and then and then we were watching one live and then I was like, maybe he ran out of time. <laughs> Pretty good. Infamous chalice nerves, yeah. Yeah, I don't care at all how long they take when I'm not playing, to be fair. It's, it's, when you, when like, I mean, I, sometimes I do care, to be fair. That's that's a lie. Sometimes I do care when I'm watching because sometimes it does get frustrating how long they take and still, but mostly I don't really care. Playing Blood Bowl 2, yeah, it's much, much better watching, isn't it? Does he tag the ball here? He could, couldn't he? He could put this guy there, and then he'd probably just get surfed. It's probably not worth it. Maybe he goes there. Maybe go here with him. Yeah, and probably want a guy back, but now this 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 side's a pretty weak to a switch, so you probably don't want to go back. So you probably just want to hold there, maybe there, and you've got a screen with him and him. Now I think you're probably too weak over this side, so we'll probably see a reverse, reverse, crisscross, slide to the left, <laughs> probably. Hmm. <sighs> I mean, replays are good, but like it's on live, so like might as well do it live, right? Might as well do it live when when they're on. It does take longer, which oh, killed another killed another out uh, Amazon. But is that the blitz as well? Yeah, he'll be moving over here, won't he? I think. I think so. I mean, maybe not. Maybe he'll just pull back to over here. Like, he doesn't have to score, right? So he doesn't have to, like, do a handoff and move up or anything. He might just rotate around. Um, oh, God, Slan with multiple rerolls. God, that's, that sounds horrendous. <laughs> I fucking hate... I honestly hate Slan. I genuinely hate them. They just seem so dumb and brainless. Like, it proper does my head in. But, like... There's very little counterplay to them, is there? And there's very little... If you want to play them brainlessly, there's, like, there's... You know, like... It's always possible to play them brainlessly, and it's it often can be optimal to play them brainlessly, and I just kind of hate that. Yes. Yes, Steve. <laughs> yeah, but some people still call them Kislev, right? k folk people who play Blood Bowl 2 will still probably call Slam Kislev. That's fair enough. Yeah, they've just got to run around like dickheads, haven't they? Like, he, I don't think he had to do the handoff and move hard over at this side, but I think he might as well because, like, it makes the stall easier and it makes... Uh, makes... Like, you know, the threat of the score is good, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, Skrull, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. It's it's a joke, really. Having allowing slan, I would never allow. Slan. Have you got to allow slan, Kfo? Do, if you do a NAF event, do you have to allow slan, or can you just deny them because they're not actually real at all in the least? Because I would not want to allow a completely fake team in my NAF tournament. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, Dev. It's, it's kind of like, I just kind of hate them. Like, just a personal thing, you know. I can understand people liking them for kind of the same reasons that I dislike them, but uh, I kind of hate Kislev. Slam, whatever. Whatever, Trevor. I will hit them on Monday, yes, Tom Schnees. I, I probably will, yes. Because it's not even that bad odds for them to just roll their three pluses, right? Even if like, even if they just played, t you can you can not allow slam. Thank you, store. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Because I might be I might be running a NAF tournament. You know, there might be. I would not. It will they will not be allowed in the gym con tournament. Um. So there you go. Fuck all your slam. <laughs> Dalo Ball, yeah, yeah, something like that. I need to discuss it with Wanger because obviously he's got the shop and that, and you know he's he's got the venue. So um, we were gonna, we were gonna, we were talking about it. Yeah, we were talking about like having a having a fantastic tabletop event. I don't think you can do that without making another safe move first, because now these elves are scooting hard down the sideline here. That was a very much you lose the game if you fail that dodge. Of course, that was 75% and it failed. Um, so that was a bad play. While Vela Hoppy is 75% that worked was a good play. There you go. <laughs> yes, Adev. Oh, well, do, do you remember the old fumble thing? What was that? Uh, prepare your anus. That's the one. <laughs> prepare your anus. <laughs> because Slan are, uh... <laughs> Slan are aliens, aren't they? So it's prepare your anus. <laughs> they, they deleted my picture. I had a picture that was made that was like a picture of, you know, the planet Uranus and uh, had Prepare Uranus. <laughs> Team Fantastic is coming or something. <laughs> and that got, that got deleted. I was very sad. I disliked in general the, the uh, political correctness fumble deleting pictures, but never mind. Yeah, I think he had to get people back before he went for that because it was just too easy and to take this, wasn't it? <laughs> Oof. Do you stick the reroll in there? Oh, not if you're going there, probably. Hmm, he does. I'd have tagged, I would have GFI'd a tag. Uh, maybe dodged him first and then gone just like here or something. Maybe like go through there, but we'll see. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. Guess you do that now? Like you might as well. It makes a screen there, doesn't it? Or, like somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. So you can screen with this guy. Go up there, maybe. Oh, he's just gonna punch. He's just gonna punch the tackle for me. <laughs> I know you, Dev. I was just being a dick. Yeah, it's definitely too late for the early GG. <laughs> It is actually quite good having this guy there, isn't it? Maybe, maybe it was, maybe that was better than tagging this guy. Veli is, of course, pretty good at the blood balls. Ah, oh, there's a one nine fail. No dice, of course. There are no dice in blood ball. We all know that. <laughs> 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 
Fails a 75%, then fails an 89%. <laughs> you don't need tackle if you stand in the right square. There you go. You know, 11% of the time you don't need tackle if you stand in the right square. <laughs> <laughs> One in thirty six times against elves. Doesn't matter if you stand in the you know, if you've got tackle as long as you stand in the right square. Do you know what, eh, Death? I've got I've got something to say to you. You'll like this. <laughs> I I love that. I think that's that's gonna be one of the best. That's gonna be. Oh yeah. Oh god. It is. It. I mean. Well, it is now. It is now. Tom Schnitz. <laughs> it is now. Fuck off, Demi. It's not a dev, but it's. Uh, you've got this. <laughs> oh, maybe it should be maths instead of odds. I don't know. I just, I just thought of it. Yeah, it'll be math. It could be math. All right, let me change it. Math. It's very American, isn't it? Saying math. Jay Leave said it. There we go. Math. Well, there you go. Thanks for coming, Will King. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking exactly. What I was thinking. Muppet. I was thinking. Never tell me the odds. But then, but then, um, but then the quote says math, doesn't it? So it seems better. But yeah, I was thinking. Don't tell me the odds. Well, there you go. It was a lovely dacker, wasn't it? Took a dead lineman. And two badly hurt, so not too terrible. Attrition wise. There is, yes, Spooky Beans. We're going to play Among Us for a little bit. Um, <laughs> and then there's a match at half seven. Uh, it's six o'clock now, isn't it? Yes. In case you don't know, UTC. Um, half seven UTC, we've got PC versus Chiagant. Chiagant. And then at 9.30, Beer Monkey versus Crimson Eek. So there you go. To do a bit of Among Us in between. Among Us. I've got no idea, Red Hair. This game did end very quickly, yeah. Hopefully Dimmy joins in. I would very much like Dimmy to join in, because Dimmy... Dimmy is peak Among Us, like, for sure. It, Among Us is so much worse without Dimmy. Perfect Among Us game has Dimmy, PC, and uh, Try in it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> has been a fire. He said there was going to be a firing war. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> no, I, I'm quite happy to not have Muppet in the game. <laughs> no offense, Muppet, but he's a murderous son of a bitch. 
I think, like, you know, Dimmy's, Dimmy's, like, great for the entertainment value, isn't he? Like, Dimmy's just amazing. And then, like, I, like, Try, Detective Try is great. Like, I, I love I love Try being smart and figuring it all out. And also saying, fuck off, Dimmy. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then PC's great for his, uh, for his, his smooth talking, isn't he? So, yeah, th those are the three that I, I would like the most in every game, <laughs> I think. Like to be fair, Mupp Muppet is a good crewmate when he's a crewmate as well. But um he's just so murderous. Yeah, that was the worst thing when it was me and Muppet and we'd like killed five people and it's like I can't even accuse Muppet, so I accuse Muppet and it's like well, I can't I can't say no, can I? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, PC never the impostor. <laughs> Poor guy, he's never once. Oh yeah, Peppered Biscuit. Peppered Biscuit's like a weird one because it's uh, he's really fucking good as the killer, isn't he? But then he's a good crewmate as well. But I think because because Muppet and PB are so good as killers that uh, I can live with them. I can live with them not being in the game. <laughs> whereas, whereas I definitely want, I definitely want Detective Try in the game. <laughs> yeah, it did. we did. Yeah, but it was fun. It was fun. You know, I'm not. I'm not saying that. Like, I'm not saying that. Uh, I don't enjoy playing with with Muppet or anything. It's just that when it comes to when it comes to the the, the you best mean fantastic people, shit at this game, the absolute best people to play with, like Dimmy's just number one, isn't he? Like D Dimmy's number one because he's just so entertaining, incredible. He like just makes among us by himself. That's true, here, Dev. Half his team by the sounds of it, Tom Schnitz. <laughs> He'd already cut like a few times and he was ready to cut more, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, best people to play with. Like, just Dimmy always. I'll always take. I'll, I would always want Dimmy in every game I ever played of Among Us. Just because he's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, I like putting the guy there. I didn't know if he was going to put this one there, but yeah, it makes sense to expose the armor 8 instead of the armor 7. Yeah, I like that. Not that it matters really, right? Because even if Will King scores this turn, he's going to have to get a blitz and like to uh, do anything, so... So what does he do? Blocks this guy, blocks this guy, blitzes this one, and then goes one, two, three, four, five, six, hands off, scores. Oh, he can't blitz, he can't blitz both of them. Oh, maybe he's, mm. maybe he shouldn't have done that. Maybe he should have just dodged away, one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, hand off to him, maybe he should have blitzed this guy. I wanted to blitz both of them. Hello, Elliot. Yeah, well, there you go. It, well, it wasn't the sack, was it? You just basically. Yes, I would let him walk in the score as well, personally. But well, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Thank you very much, Elliot, for the rowdy raid. Absolutely glorious, rowdy. Hi now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Welcome, Elliot viewers, to the chalice game between Will King and Velahopia. It's already over. <laughs> it's already over. And, uh, well, well it, technically not. You're an absolute idiot if you think this is over. Don't say this game's over. It's not over. <laughs> Will King might get a blitz. 
a Blitz or a Riot, and uh, Incredible Dice. Yeah, that's true. Only badly hurt, though. I know, but it's, you're an idiot if you think this is overrated. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I'm just joking. It's just because I heard about it the other day. Like, justifiably so. But it's just, just funny, isn't it, to be a dickhead sometimes. <laughs> I think it's 99.9% .9 chance this is over. <laughs> or higher. <laughs> but technically not over. <laughs> Technically not over. But yeah, he probably should have. He probably should have just not gotten away. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, it's so good, isn't it? It's such. A, it's such a good. It's such. It's such a good command. I love it. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Just needs to set up against the blitz, doesn't he really on on the right? Like that's all he has to think about. Well, he didn't get it, so now it is over. Delve deep into a mechanic. Oh dear. Oh dear. I didn't even. I didn't even get that. Believe it or not, I didn't. I like. I didn't really like. Really look at it. So therefore, I didn't really get it. <laughs> oh dear. They'll just say GG, and Valley will run away. <laughs> Way. Dimmy has hot takeaways, doesn't he? <laughs> Quite regularly. Did you put me to 69? Like, you might as well, I guess. If there's no one else. He's already an MVP away, he could get an extra SBP. But he has got shit runs for the pickle. And you might get him to 76. Nope, he's gone for the He's gone for the dodge catcher. No he's not. Okay. Now we're gonna try and get him closer, okay. Maybe this guy, right? Maybe the blitzer should have gone for the pass. Why is he geofying? He could just pass from where he was. I should double geofy blitz. If you're gonna if you're gonna blitz on the last turn, you might as well geofy and hit with your tackle bomber. Classic gym pass. Dirty player, can he GFI in? He's not even G. Oh, okay, he's GFI in. Yeah. Not doing with a dirty player, though. Come on, do you even BM, bro? I mean, it doesn't matter how the level is the last game of the season, isn't it? <laughs> he, ain't play he ain't playing that team in open. It was just it was just trying to leave a mark on. On the valley, wasn't it? Well, there you go, 2 1. Not actually, it was basically a 2 0, wasn't it? But, um, you know, congrats to Vela Hoppier. Commiserations to Will King. It was interesting. I think, I think Valley did play well, and, uh, but he certainly got, he certainly got the dice on the important turn, didn't he? But yes, uh, Will King could have sculpted the drive better beforehand and could have also made the breakaway better. So, there you go. Is what it is. 
Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.